Hi, Manual Notes. In her response to the previous question, Deborah mentioned something about the impact of social media within her, um, within her networks after the election. As a tech person myself, this piece of the election fallout story has been particularly fascinating to me. Because of that, my next question to the vloggers is about how we use social media in particular or technology in general in a responsible way. The main thing that I want to include here in my introduction is the echo chamber effect. And I do know this can get pretty complicated. If somebody is saying legitimately harmful things that make it hard for you to use that platform, you do have the right to protect yourself by unfollowing or blocking them. Twitter just rolled out some new tools for muting certain words in your mentions, a small but important way to cut down rampant harassment on their platform. Internet harassment is real and is a significant problem. But then sometimes the line can become blurry between blocking out harassment and blocking out anybody who disagrees with you. The election has highlighted a few things from the echo chamber. For one, a lot of completely made-up conspiracy theories and memes made the rounds, and people on the other side didn't even notice. The algorithm, particularly on Facebook, makes sure that is the case. You see what your previous activity suggests you want to see. Another consequence I saw more on the progressive side was legitimate shock because we knew few, if any, Trump supporters within our networks. The research suggests the same is true regardless of where you fall on the political spectrums. The echo chamber can blind us to what is actually going on. I'm going to add a couple of links in the show notes. Uh, one is John Oliver's last episode of the season, where he unpacked the implications of a Trump win, but with one section devoted to the role that media played and the prevalence of, of false news. Another was one of my favorite tech podcasts, which talked about it from the perspective of Facebook who has apparently said that they developed the tools but were afraid to put them in place to filter out fake news because it might anger the people who believe those fake news stories. Overall, it seems pretty safe to say that tech in general, and social media in particular, can do a lot of good things and a lot of bad things. This is an obvious example of the good. This men or nerds network would not have existed without Twitter, and would not have spread without WordPress, Facebook, YouTube, probably a few others. I'm pretty happy about the existence of social media, but it also clearly has some of these problems. So, to repeat the question again for our, our vloggers, what kind of guidelines would you see as helpful in establishing responsible use of technology, particularly social media? <laughs>